Hey, everybody. Welcome to Stars Touch. Yeah, I wanted to just say um, with this Virgo moon, we have the ability to organize and really get ready for the week this week on um, Sunday for a change. We just have this gumption to get going. So that's a good thing. And then Neptune's involved too. So when you go outside the door, definitely ask for a sign because signs and synchronicities are going to be easier to see today with the, just the different energies going on. And oh, I just love it. Go outside and say, hey, I'm open to positive possibilities. What is my sign for today? Is it an animal coming to me? Is it a coin, a date on a coin, whatever it is. So I wanted to pull a couple cards. Yes, I made a video and I cut my head off earlier. <laughs> and that was, uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to do it without having the video aimed at me selfie wise. It just, oh, yeah. Anyways, I figured why waste it? If you're up early, it's a good message. Yeah, let's do a Mike Dooley. Flipped right out of there. So we've got the notes of the universe, Mike Dooley. Do something new, something different. Ever notice how it's easier to fall in love and to be fallen in love with when you're busy? Thank goodness I'm you, the universe. <laughs> Fun cards. I love it. All right. Archangel Raphael, the healing deck. What do we need from Archangel Raphael today? What do we need to really heal our bodies? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, the moon was pretty. I did a video of the moon, too. It's a little um, scratchy looking. I mean, my equipment's not perfect, but I did add really good Reiki, so I will put it up later in case you want to just meditate with it. It's dark enough where you can fall asleep to it, really. All right detoxification. So while we're clutter clearing, also we're going to detox our bodies today. How's that sound? Take a Epsom salt bath. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. If you can't do it, do it in your mind. And there's so many other things, drinking lemon water and having applesauce with dates, putting dates in your apples, even just a date and an apple can really help detox the liver. Love it. All right, so here we go. Sending out to our solar plexus for empowerment today. It says, you drew this card because your body or the body of the person for whom you're inquiring is highly sensitive to chemicals. Archangel Raphael is re recommending detoxification, which he will oversee and help you with. This could mean changing to an organic or natural diet that's devoid of preservatives, sugar, and other chemicals. This card also may represent avoidance of recreational substances such as alcohol, drugs, caffeine, sugar, or nicotine. In some cases, the angels could be steering you away from environmental irritants at your home or workplace. The first chemical or substance that comes to your mind is an indication of your detoxification guidance. Possible specific meanings. Take a detoxifying sea salt bath. Ask the angels to clear away negative energies. Yes, you can put a lemon cut in half on your counter and that will soak up negative energies in your house. Leave a toxic relationship or situation. Detoxify your thoughts by becoming more positive and optimistic. Avoid household chemicals. Change or reduce your medications. Now that's something you just, you know, never do that without talking to your doctor. But I love this card because it really talks about how you pay attention to how your body feels. How do you feel when you eat a certain thing? How do you feel when you do things? How do you feel around certain people? Just really knowing how you feel is a huge part of it. My prayer, dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for clearing up my body, mind, and life so that I may happily and healthily live free of chemicals. All right. Yeah. I use a lot of vinegar and baking soda <laughs> and a little lemon, uh, you know, herbal essence or whatever in there just for a clean, fresh smell. But yeah, trying to use the natural stuff. Courage to change. What do we need courage to change for today on Sunday? Page 135. Whether or not I see immediate benefits, today I choose to keep coming back. Pa patience is the key to paradise. Yes, keep doing what you're doing. If you have something good you've started and you fall off of it for a little bit, get back onto that routine. Absolutely, whatever it takes to make you feel good. 
and just paying attention. I mean, I used to say, okay, I wrecked it. The whole day's over. I'm just going to eat everything now. And I'm going to do everything that I, you know, because I, I did one thing that I shouldn't have. No, it's by the moment. You can say, I start now, you know, it's happening. Everything's coming together right now. So page 134, let's just see. It says, today I will have faith in my ability to act. When the time seems right, I will make the best choice I can and allow myself to enjoy the results. Sometimes our enthusiasm for change depends on our willingness to take a chance on tomorrow by risking what we have today. I love it. Sometimes we have to take risks in order to move forward. It seems like, um, yeah, most of the things I do, I do learn it the hard way. I mean, I have <laughs> definitely learned the technology the hard way, but you know what? I just keep moving forward and it's okay. I'm going to send out to the solar plexus. I just wanted to say, you know, in case anybody wonders what's going on with this channel, I've got well over a thousand subscribers. The watch time is not close to 3,000 in a year. It's probably 2,300. And it's tough to get that watch time when you have commercials being put in your meditations that you've had there. I've made over 3,000 videos, but a lot of them have commercials and I can't control that. So I just want to say I love this channel and I love sending out the daily message. It makes my heart sing. I love sharing things that help me with you. But yeah, there's been no way to get uh, monetized or anything like that. And it's okay. I am so content with just being able to be here with you guys each day. And without having perfect camera stuff, it's not like YouTube wants to send my stuff to other people. Literally, I got those thousand people by people sending from each other. It's it's just, um, it's very tricky. And it's okay. I am happy with how this channel is going. I love being with you guys. I'm going to teach a couple things right now. So here it is. I And I think I might have said this earlier. This spoon, when you're rubbing it on your feet, this is not just to balance you out. Literally, I saw a video that this will help you fall asleep at night. So if you can find a spoon that sticks to the magnet, stainless steel spoon, and rub it on the feet and just breathe and pay attention to your breathing and just slowly rubbing it on your feet is balancing you, grounding you to the earth. It can help you fall asleep as well. And on the top of those little runners, couple other tricks for helping you fall asleep. I heard the other one. So there's a spot behind your belly button on your back and you can rub that for sure. But when you're laying in bed, you can just put one hand on top of the other over your belly button and picture warmth or heat going all the way through to the other side and just breathe. And having your hands there can calm down your nervous system and help you fall asleep as well. And there's a third one. So the lady was talking, this is Donna Eden Energy Medicine. She was talking about how there's a meridian that goes from your, your tip of your finger all the way up under your ear, all the way up under your ear and around to your temple. And instead of doing the meridian going this way, what you're doing is even 20 times, you can rub your temple while you're trying to fall asleep. Go around your ear, stop under your ear, and go on down your arm all the way to that pink, that pointer finger and just kind of brush it off. Just do that and pay attention to your breathing. And just blowing it away. You can do it on both sides. So those are a few things you can try tonight in order to go to sleep. And I'm definitely going to give them a shot. I just love this stuff. And let's do a heaven and earth for just uh, in this video. So get your hands warm. And go ahead and raise up and down. Love and light to everyone. And release. Really let it all out. And another one. And again, release. I love you guys. I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful Sunday. And I'll have that moon video up later. Even though it's a little grainy, it's got great energy.